Hi, I'm Lauren Stanisak. Hi, I'm Dixie Glazer. And we did our publicity package on Steph's Wish. So this is a picture of Christy and her family. Christy's the one with the black beads around her head, and she's my roommate, and I've known her for four years. And the other three people in the picture are her sister and both of her brothers. The one in the farther back, who's nicely showing us the birdie, is Steven. And this picture sort of shows the kind of personality he had. He was always upbeat and funny and joking around. And we all really loved him. So we really wanted to make something special for Christy and her family. So we decided to do our project on Stev's Wish. So Stev is what everyone calls Steven. And he was 25 when he was diagnosed. He was having really bad back spasms. So he went in to get an MRI. And they found tumors down his spine. And they did some more research and they found more tumors in his stomach. So they officially diagnosed him with cancer of an unknown primary, stage 4. And people are usually really scared, but Steph was really positive and definitely thought he was going to make it through. And he was really adamant that um, he was going to survive. And unfortunately, he got pneumonia a few weeks into his diagnosis and he passed away a few weeks ago. But um, the one thing he was really adamant about was making sure this didn't happen to anyone else. And he really wanted to help other people who were diagnosed with his cancer, since it's sort of unknown to people. So his girlfriend and his family decided to start Steph's Wish um, on his behalf. And it's just a website where you can donate money to help research for this kind of cancer. And they have certain events that they're starting, like a bar crawl and a basketball night. And we just really want to help them get the word out there. And keep Stev's wish going for him. Cancer can develop anywhere in the body. The organ or region of the body where cancer begins is known as the primary site. Cancer, including cancer that spreads to form new tumors elsewhere in the body, is named after the primary site. For example, colon cancer that spreads to the liver is called metastatistic colon cancer rather than liver cancer because it contains colon cancer. According to the American Cancer Society, an estimated 2-5% to of all cancer patients have secondary tumors for which routine testing cannot locate the primary site. This is called cancer of an unknown primary origin, or also known as CUP. Patients may be diagnosed with cancer of an unknown primary origin if the primary tumor is too small to be identified with the routine imaging test it appears before a secondary tumor arises, or the secondary tumor has several possible primary sites. Occasionally, a primary tumor is discovered during surgery or treat other conditions. So as we said earlier, Stev was diagnosed in January, and he passed away at the end of February before his site was able to launch. So on what would have been his 26th birthday, March 31st, his family launched his site, Stev Wish. And um, um, on the site, it, it explains who Stev is as a person and how you can donate to cancer of an unknown primary. And it also shows events um, in Stev's honor, such as a basketball tournament, a bar crawl, and a benefit dinner. So for part of our publicity package, we decided to make a Twitter page. We thought Twitter would just be a really easy way to get the word out about events going on and how to donate, especially to our target audience, which is mostly people around Christie's town in northern New Jersey and around their LBI house where they spend all their summers and a lot of their weekends. And then just High Point students and Christie's friends from home and from school and her siblings' friends. So we just thought Twitter would be a really easy way to get our word across. So for the rest of our package, we decided to use a photo caption and a media advisory. We thought the photo caption would just be a good idea so they could really put a picture in people's minds of who Stephen was and it would really make the company feel more personal and understand why you're really donating. And then the media advisory was just for the bar crawl so they could get word out after it happened because they want it to be an annual thing so it would be nice that it got recognized sort of at a local level and people would be more excited to go for it next year. And then our fact sheet just kind of says who we are and what we do and how to donate, which are really the most important things for Stev's Wish. 
And then lastly, we made a news release with a media list, and it just talks about the bar crawl and where it is and more of the details about that. So this is just a few things that we decided to place in our publicity package, but we definitely think that you could add more and really make the company even better than they are, and we hope that Steph's Wish continues to do all the great things that it's doing.